Justin Trudeau placed flowers at this memorial for victims of the shooting on Toronto's Danforth Strip eight days ago. He honored the two people killed. We need to work hard to honor their memories, honor their love uh, and, uh, and their spirit, and we will do that, all of us together. Most seemed happy to have the Prime Minister there, but not all. No, nothing We're here to film oh, together. Okay. We're here to, okay. This is not the time for it, sir. This heckler was removed by police, prompting this reaction from others in the crowd. But even some of Trudeau's biggest supporters had tough questions for him. They want to know how he's going to prevent shootings like this in the future. I applaud him for what he did, but I would applaud him further if, uh, if, he, if he took this uh, and used it as a springboard to, to see if he can implement some very strict gun control laws. He needs yeah. to take action, yeah. you know, to do something about the guns. Blue Rodeo frontman Jim Cuddy lives in the neighborhood, and he echoed the call by Mayor John Tory for an all-out ban. I'm all for Tory's proposition. I said, get get rid of handguns. Uh, I, I don't, not sure why they need to be in the hands of individuals. I think it becomes so simple. Then somebody, I mean, I I understand. I'm not blind to the fact that there'll be a lot of illegal guns, but they will be clearly illegal. Candid talk. Today on CBC Radio, the police chief was asked if he supports the ban. Anything that reduces uh, access to a firearm is, is a good thing. I, I would say from a uh, Toronto police perspective, my biggest issue are, are the people that are motivated to shoot. Toronto City Council recently voted to take the issue to the Trudeau government. When asked today if he'll move forward with a ban, the Prime Minister said this. We have to look at what the best way to fulfill our fundamental responsibilities as, as governments, as orders of government, to keep our citizens safe. Uh, people need to be safe. There's a, a lot of things that we're looking at right now. Obviously, there's a, a lot of strong emotions going on, uh, grieving, uh, looking at how we can continue to be stronger and more resilient as communities. Over time, this memorial will dwindle as normal life resumes. But for the people who live here and were touched by this tragedy, the issues of gun violence and public safety may not fade so quickly. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto. A poll conducted in December suggests a vast majority of Canadians, 69%, favour an outright ban on guns in urban areas. Support was highest in Quebec, lowest in Alberta.